Hi guys, it's not hard to animate in After Effects and it's extremely easy to mess up your projects if you don't work in a structured way. Believe me, I have the experience. Like I said guys, there is a simple method that if you follow step by step, you will end up with very structured motion graphics projects that later on you can change and modify, speed up or slow down the way you would like. If you don't start learning how to structure your projects, then obviously you're going to have layers and keyframes all over the places. And when it comes back to tweaking it, it will become extremely hard. So the method is three simple steps. The first step is about designing the layout. In this step, you will design your layout. You put all your text, your graphics, whatever you like, you lay them out in a fashionable way. You don't care about animating or anything else. You just do the design. Now, when you have completed the design, you jump to the next step. Here you are. The next step is to animate. You will animate everything you want to animate without taking care much about maybe the speed or what's coming first or what's coming second. And then the last step is about sequencing your layers and taking care of the speeds. So you will decide which layer is being animated first or group of layers and then which group of layers is going to be animated second and so on until you have a complete animation. For example, let's take my company. It's a very easy project. This is what we want to create. We want to add to this photo this square here and the three text. Okay, it seems easy. So the first thing is design. Like you can see here, it is about design. So you design it, you put the shadows, you put whatever you like, cool. You're happy, then you move on to animate. In this step, you are just animating. Let me show you. If you scrub through, you will notice that all the layers are coming at the same time. But it's exactly what you want to animate and how you want to animate them. When this is done, you move on to sequence your layers. Now notice here the story has changed. Actually, the project is complete. You will sequence the layers, decide what comes first, what comes second, and so on, until you have the complete animation that you want. In this step also, you will tweak more the speeds and make it the way you would like. So actually, we are going to follow these three steps to design, to animate, and then to sequence to create this animation. By the end of the three projects, you will be almost mastering how to animate motion graphics within After Effects. And if you have a paper and pen, you can take notes about the tips I'm going to give you. Or later on, you know, you review these lectures to really memorize all the tips. Thank you. And let's start our first project.